like to give someone some chocolate. Who likes chocolate? Oh. It's weird because it's dark chocolate. Uh, everyone, everyone loves it. Um, tell you what, who wants to who wants to flip me for it? Right. Who was it? Out the back there. Yep. Okay. What's what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. All right, Caitlin. Uh, heads or tails? Oh, yeah, 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 you can come down. Give her a hand, guys. Go do it. Okay. Heads or tails? Oh. Okay, hang on. Heads or tails? Sorry, it's heads. I told you, Caitlin, I told you. Best right. three? Give, her, give her another go. Best three? Heads or tails? Sorry, it's tails. Show up, show it. Heads or tails? It's tails, sorry. Oh, sorry, Oh. Show it. Don't you, you guys don't trust me. No. Why not? I'm I'm a scientist. Hey? No, I don't trust her. Yeah, all right, all right, flip the coin. Flip the coin. Right. Okay, do it, do it. Flip, flip the coin. I'll flip, I'll flip you for it. Okay, uh, heads. I'm right. <laughs> what? She's far too. She's far, she's far too, too honest. honest. See, I, I lied to you. Why, why don't you lie to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, clearly, uh, I can't be trusted. Caitlin can, but I don't know that because I'm suspicious. So, um, what happens if? Uh, how do we? How do we solve this problem? I, I really, I really, genuinely want to give Caitlin the chocolate if she's earned it. Yes. Get a third person to flip it, um, but Harv's not honest. He'll just take the two dollars. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, Daniel. Uh, no, How do we know we can trust Daniel? Yeah, I, I can't trust Daniel. Kaylin, do you know, do you know Daniel? Yes. Do you trust him? Do you trust him, do you trust him with a chocolate bar? No. 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 All right. So um, clearly, none of us can really be trusted. Uh, but I know. Luckily, I know something that can always be trusted, and that's science. Yeah, science noise. Woo! Okay, we're gonna use science <laughs> to make sure that Caitlin can trust me uh, about the about the results of this coin toss. So what uh, what's gonna happen is we let's pretend that um, the super fun mat here is gonna represent. Da, da, da. Ah! Da, da, da. It's gonna represent uh, the vast the vast gulf of the ocean. Uh, so I'm on one end of the internet and Caitlin's on the other end. All right. Okay. So we can't see each other. We can only really communicate through the internet. Um, but, luckily, uh, we both have some information that we know in common. We're both from Christchurch, all right? So we both happen to have copies. There's one sitting down there, I think, of the 2001 Christchurch telephone book. Excellent. So uh, this, was, this was something that uh, Caitlin put in her suitcase when she, uh, when she set off for New York. Uh, it was very dear to her, um, and she, she took it with her everywhere. You sure did. So what's going to happen? Caitlin, I would like you to look in the telephone book um, don't show me. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand over facing this way, and if you, could, if you could face the other way, that'd be great. So we're on the internet, we can't see each other, but I'd like you to pick someone's name that starts with either H or T. Got someone? She's got one. She's got one? Okay, I'd like you to read out the number, the person's phone number, please. 348306. 348306. Okay. So my job, right, is to guess whether that whether that number belongs to someone with an H or a T name. So what I could do is just go through all the numbers until I find that particular number. But that's gonna take ages. So I just need some way of deciding whether I'm going to guess H or T. And luckily, I have a coin with me, so I'm just going to flip a coin. It's heads, so I'm going to guess H. Caitlin, is it H? Yes. Ah, but you could just be tricking. You could just be really nice to me. Um, it, so I mean, nice. I, I know it's H, but if you try and trick me and say T, I'll know. Because what I do now is I say, Caitlin, all right, how are you going to prove to me that, it, that that person's name starts with H. Find the number under H. Sorry? What's the page number? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, Caitlin, what's the page number of that person's name? 288. 
288. And what's the person's name? Henderson. Henderson. Uh, what's, their, what's, their first, what's their first initial? If you look at the, the first Henderson, you might find it. First, oh, first Henderson. <laughs> Three four two eight three oh six. I know that. Uh, I know that name starts with H. So now Caitlin and I know that we can trust each other over the internet because we have a way of telling. This activity really brings up the idea of a one-way function. With a phone book, it's very easy, given a name, to find out someone's phone number. But given the phone number, very hard to work out the name. Now, talking about mathematical functions helps to show the children how, in fact, mathematics can be quite important in some of the neat ideas in computer science. Factorising prime numbers might just seem like a schoolroom activity, but in fact, it's a key component of modern cryptography.